Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back for more decorative painting. I am finishing up this little gingerbread, um, the Christmas time cookies pattern from Renee Mullins is number 194 and um, I forgot and those of you who have been following along at home I've never finished the spoon there is a little bit more to do there so I am going to start there I never added the stripes so let's go um, I have dirty water I cleaned my desk off but I did not put clean water but that's okay I will clean it in a moment all right, I'm gonna use this rigger. I like the rigger, it's kind of thicker and I'm gonna be able to make nice stripes, these stripes here. And it says, which I totally didn't do this, um, float, oh no, no, paint, gosh, the stripes on the handle with country red. So I have country red. And the thing that's good about a round brush Yes, it's round, and yes, you can get it to do line work, but you can also flatten it out and use it like a flat. So I have this loaded up, and I'm just going to let the brush do the work and pull a couple of stripes. Sorry, I, when I focus, I can't talk. And I think there's one down here too, but my goodness. Jenny, are you crying? She's been crying lately. It's kind of, I don't know why. All right, that looks cool. Then it says, paint a thin highlight stroke down the left side of the handle with light buttermilk. Then it says basin. Okay, that's the only thing I left off. For some reason, I missed one sentence. So I'm just going to put a highlight stroke down the left side of the handle, and then we can move on. Um, dot each berry. I did highlight the berries. All right, so sorry about that, you guys. Light buttermilk down the left side. So I will put that down there. So now we are moving on to his little pyjamas. I call them pijamas. That's like my Spanish accent. Jays are ya. Yeah. Um, anywho, so we go to the pajamas. Base with jade green, shade with avocado. I have avocado. And if you are follow if you're not following along, I should say, I have Probably the last two or three videos now, at least, are on the same project. This is decorative painting, and there's a process to this type of painting where you actually build the layers up. So you start with the base coat, and then you add your shading, highlighting, and details. So we're taking each little, so we first did this, the gingerbread stuff and the hat, and then we did the little act that, and now we're gonna do, I think we'll be able to finish in this video. We'll do his pajamas and the books, and that's it. Um, so, um, that's where we are, and I've, I've given pretty detailed instructions when it comes to the floating technique, but because you may just be tuning into this specific video, I will review with you what I mean when I say floating, um, if that's what it calls for. So the pajamas, shade with avocado, deepen the shading with a brush mix of avocado and black green. <coughs> I tend to skip steps sometimes, and I talked about the, that my character defects, that's something about me, that I am a rule breaker. And usually there are a reason for the steps to be there in the first place so you shouldn't ignore them um you know do as i say not as i do kids and uh anywho you have your line drawing to give you an indication of where the things are going to go i you can always take your tracing might as well do it now and, and show you um gonna put his little what is this that little the little opening for the bottom of the pajamas i'm gonna trace that on so I'm just going to line up the tracing as best I can and add that little 
line, which you can do it, you know, with a, a very lightly with a pencil. You just want an indication of where you're going to be shading and highlighting. And in this case, I could have done it without, but I like to show you. Um, I need a ball tool, sorry. And I just want to make sure this is on the right side, yes. Um, show you how you do that. So you take your tracing and then you put a little graphite paper under it. And then you can just trace the line gently. Don't push too hard. You don't want to gouge the wood. And you really don't need a dark line. Um, I'm going to add this little line because I know that was pretty lined up. This one isn't. And it's not even under the tracing paper, actually. Let's see. I'll, I'll do that um, myself. All right. So that's how. Now I have those lines. And they're super dark. So I am going to take my eraser and gently, gently take some of the darkness away. You just need an indication. And we've got that. All right. Um light buttermilk. I just want to finish the spoon while I'm thinking of it. Kiwi needs me. She Evidently she needs me. And this is actually white. I grabbed the wrong color. I'm going to grab my liner brush and just make a line down the left side of the handle. Yay! I know I'm far away. I will zoom in. I just, I keep zooming in and up and down and all around. Okay, so we're going to shade with a brush mix. Let me go get her. Sorry about that. Um, so, I am going to show you a floating, how to load your brush to float. I'm using my big brush at the moment because this is kind of a little bit of a big area that we're going to do. I'm also going to have my picture here as reference so that I can look and see where I'm going to put the shading because she doesn't really tell you that in the instructions. So I like to use an angle brush. I first go into my water, then I blot on a paper towel and the paper towel will just suck out enough water so that it's not drippy, but I want water in the brush. That's what we use to float the paint across the bristles. I'm going to take a little black green Put it down on my paper palette. This is my paper palette. It's a slick surface. Then I'm going to pick up some of that avocado and put it right down on top and brush mix those together. Doesn't really look too mixy. There we go. So now what I have is paint, 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 and water. Because I've mixed these paint, this paint together with the water that's on my brush. Now I'm going to rinse my brush off completely because there was way too much paint on there. Blot it again. Let the water get removed, but it's still wet. And then I'm going to come right back to here where this wet mixture was. And I'm going to pick that up. And now my brush is loaded. Now I'm going to move over to my piece and I'm going to add some shadow behind the little guy's head by pulling the color along the back of his head here. And because I'm using such a big brush, I should get a nice graduation of color. Depending on, if you use a smaller brush, you're not gonna get as much. Um, that's why I, like, I love my big brush. And then I'm gonna, this time I actually, cause that looked really chippy choppy. I just use a mop brush to kind of tickle it out a little bit and smooth it and I'll try to do it a little less choppy this time. We're going to go up against his head on his sleeves just going right back to the runway here that I um, made that mixture and I'm going to go, I could have just come around but I wanted to go down here right there and tuck it I'm just going to tap it. I'm using a, um, it's pretty wet, my brush. And then up here. 
I'm a pity patter. I've noticed that from from when I watch my own videos or when I'm right now as I'm doing a tutorial, I think about what I'm doing more than I would not necessarily. I would not be I don't know. I kind of just I'm on automatic pilot. Um let's see. She has some shading down both sides of his arms. Let's see about his butt. Nope. She just has it along that little vent of his pajamas. So I gotta wait a little bit because if you go back too soon with a wet brush, I could pick up what I put down. This is pretty pretty dry, although I did just brush that off. All right, we'll skip around a little bit. What else? Let's go. Let's look at the books. Um, shade along the top and bottom of the book with milk chocolate. So we're gonna do this one first. So let's do that. Uh, milk chocolate. I thought I got my paints all ready to go and now I can't find them. I must have put it away. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this done in, um, uh, here it is. And I want to finish it, you know, because I would be finishing it. If I wasn't filming it, I would be just painting whenever I felt like it. But I'm trying to film anyway. You don't need to know all that stuff. But I need to clean up as I go because I can't, I don't feel as, um, it doesn't feel serene at all if I come in here and it's a mess. So I've been putting things away as I go. Kiwi, are you pulling my hair? So I just loaded the brush in milk chocolate and I'm going to pull a, a float across the top, which I think I want to be much wider. So I will use more paint next time. But in the meantime, I can come back and I'm going to go back to the runway and pick up that paint that I have. Actually, I need to make more. So I'm brush mixing a tiny bit more. And my brush is super wet, so I'm blotting. And this comes from practice. And the more you paint, the, the better you get. And be patient with yourself. Enjoy the process. You know the you know the deal. It isn't about every stroke of the brush. It's the whole. You have to re realize that, you know, step away and look at the piece as a whole. And don't just focus on one little piece at a time, you know. So um, that way you get to enjoy what you create as well because you can't you know and listen it's not going to look like mine because you know why it's not mine it's yours so let it be yours let it be your yours imperfect imperfections and all we all have them this is not perfect at all my piece but guess what it's so cute i don't care <laughs> um and I've been doing this for a long time, you guys. Seriously, like, there is something to be said for, um, you know, doing it a lot, practice. That's why I can't play the piano. But if I sat down at the piano every day and played it, I'd probably get better. Um, so that is what... That's not to say I couldn't play the piano if I sat down. Someone could show me what to do and I could try. You know, but obviously it wouldn't be music. No. <laughs> I'd just be banging on the keys. All right, so the blue book. Let's go to the blue book. Dark Midnight Blue. I'm just going to get these things started and jump around a little bit. Because floating is a wet, it's a wet technique. And if you don't let it dry, you'll mess up what you did. So... It's a good chance to work on um, being patient. Right, Kiwi? Yeah. So, um, it seems like I want to put a little shading around his butt, too. Like, I do want to put, I am going to put just, I'm going to put the avocado only around the back of his body. So right here, I'm going to put just avocado with no black green. My son is making all kinds of noises. I 
think he's he's exercising with music and he's got headphones on so all right I like that better but we definitely need to darken it up a little I'm gonna come in with just black green in a minute I think because it's gonna make it more um, depth give it more depth I'm liking it though. I'm gonna go back to my cook my book because I feel like I need to make that a little darker. That's better. That's just my style. I'm a dark floater. I like my floats to be dark. And I'm going to switch brushes because those um, books are kind of close to each other. And that way I won't put water on the other uh, places. Kiwi, you are such a sweet little girl. That was not nearly enough water. See, I kind of I kind of stopped. And I got it on the bottom book, which that doesn't make me happy. Because if this is still wet, when I take the blue off, oh, no, it was dry. Because you can take the blue off, oh, but no, it, yeah, I still definitely, oh boy. It's looking good, though. I am not going to complain about that. I'm going to just go in with my smaller brush now, and I'm going to do <clears throat> a darker um, so the just the black green alone and go around his little vent actually I loaded it in a puddle of avocado so there's a tiny bit of a mix but it's mainly oh my goodness our parakeets it's kind of dusk right now actually is it dusk it's not dusk it's only I don't have my watch on I think it's like three ish 330 but the sun comes all the way around the front of the house like right now the sun is coming in my win my craft room windows so I think the birdies are just getting excited about that look how gorgeous it starts to look oh man I'm sorry I get excited so I'm gonna darken this I'm gonna get a little black green and darken this little area because it's It's like a fold over where his arm is separated from his little outfit. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is just too cute. Isn't it, Kiwi? I'm going to go back to my books again and I'm going to hit this blue book one more time. A little bit darker paint on my brush just keep it a little bit more and I think I want to do see it's looking pretty good I probably don't need to but I'm gonna go on the top again and I'm gonna do the top of the bottom book too all right Kiwi stop grabbing my glasses hopefully I'm in the shot oh good See, and the previous videos, I zoomed in, I got some good footage, but sometimes I, I come out of the shot because I'm so focused on what I'm doing. Um, you don't even get to see it. <laughs> so I, I need to be careful when I do that. And that didn't do what I hoped, but that's okay. Um, all right, where are we? I'm going to do one more float and then I'm going to move on. One more, I want to go around his head with the... Um, I think I'll just do avocado. Yeah, just the avocado. I'm just going to go. My brush is splitting too, but that's okay. And here. Alrighty. So let's go back. It says. Shade with avocado, deepen with a brush mix of avocado and black green. Paint the stripes on the sleeves with deep midnight blue and the stitching with light buttermilk. So put my floaty brush away. I think I'll do the stripes again with the that rigger. 
and right here on the pattern he just has two stripes on his little sleeves so I'm just gonna wing those I have the the deep midnight blue right here that I was using to float the book and I'm loading my brush and where should I put this she's got start I'm gonna put it kind of midway I need room for a star eh, maybe not I don't really need room for a star don't really need it to be um, opaque you know I mean it's not gonna make or break the whole thing if it's not opaque but you can come back again if you wanna do another coat to make it opaque and what else did it say paint the stitching with light buttermilk uh, dot the buttons on the flap with lamp black so I need some black and I'm not going to do them yet because mm, I want to use um, a, a dotting tool and I'll pick it up let me think oh there's stripes on the books so for the books we're going to shade and with a brush mix dry brush along the center of the book to highlight ooh dry brushing I didn't realize we had any dry brushing to do. I'm going to use this brush because my smaller one has red on it. But it is a Debbie Cole dry blending brush. And it's kind of a stiffer bristle rounded top. I love these though. And I'm telling you guys, tools make the difference when you're trying these techniques. So we're going to dry brush. Let me make sure I love my shading first. I do. Um, I kind of want to do one more coat, but it looks, it looks shaded. I want to do one more on the bottom. I got to do it. And then I can't dry brush yet because when you dry brush, you literally dry brush. You don't use any water in the brush. And so there can't be any water on the surface either. Oh my goodness, Kiwi, you are so good. I'm just trying to make this a little thicker. I think that was good. I think I'll be happy now. So we'll let that dry. I guess I'll go back and put another little bit of blue on these stripes just to make them. See, I touched it. Dang it. And I love how she brings all the colors together, you know. So good. So good. Mmm. So I'm going to dry brush. Before I do that, it says, um, paint the stripes with camel. Okay, paint the lettering with lamp black. Base the top book. Oh, shade along the bottom of the uh, mix with a mix of. So we're going to dry brush both before we put the stripes and stuff on. And then we're going to stencil the stars with marigold. She has a stenciling. I might just paint them. Although I could. See, I, I mentioned in the other video, I could possibly... Except for I can't see through this, but I could stencil a couple stars on here, but I could also just paint them. No, I'm going to use a stencil. I'm going to try the stencil. What? What are you talking about? All right, so I'm going to dry brush. Let me, I'm just going to dry it real quick, make sure. To dry brush, no water on the brush. It says a brush mix of light buttermilk and camel. See, I wasn't prepared. I had most of my paints ready to go, but. And again, I'm just going to brush mix it similar to when we stippled. It's a similar process for me. Um, and dry brushing, literally want your, your brush dry. There's no um, water in the brush. Stippling, you can have a little bit of moisture. So I'm going to gr grab some clean paper towels, dry paper towels. Hi, Jen. And this is a dry brush right now. I am taking some Camel. Can you see it? And I'm going to pounce it down on my palette. So I'm loading it onto the bristles. Now, oh, I'm not even in the shot. I'm sorry. Okay, 
light buttermilk, again a tiny bit, and I'm pouncing it down, and now I have that mixture right there. Now I'm going to take my the wet paint and get it off. Okay, and now I'm going to go to my piece, and hopefully this is dry enough, but I want to show you you gently, you don't scrub it, you just let the brush do the work. Well, I'm kind of scrubbing because that's my impatience, but you can see it. You see a little bit. But I mean, it's, it does look like it's in the middle. Actually, when I look in the camera, it looks real good. From where I think it's just the um, powder is kind of, yeah, I think that looks good. Instinct wants me to go back and get more and do it more because that's just how I roll. So I am, uh, I'm just, I'm picking up the mixture that I had down there already and I am going to take it off and then I'm just going to gently You can hear the dry scrubbing, right? But it's there. That's all I need. It makes the binding look rounded, okay? So I need to do a whole nother color, and it, it stinks because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try a trick. This is um, alcohol hand sanitizer. I'm going to grab my other stippling brush because it has red on it. Let's see. So there's red on here, and I'm going to put a little bit of this hand sanitizer, just a tiny bit. I'm going to put it up here. Oops. All right. And this should be able to clean the brush and still leave it dry. I'm going to touch it and then rub it. Yeah, it doesn't work as well on this kind of brush. It still feels kind of wet, and I don't know if it actually got... I'm going to do it again. Yeah, there's still tons of red on my brush. I need a, um, like a fabric. I have a towel down here. I'm just grabbing because I want to... I'm going to try and dry brush with this, which is risky, but... If I really use a gentle touch, I might be able to do it. I'm going to try and dry brush on the blue book. And the blue book is base, shade, highlight. French gray, blue, and light buttermilk. So French gray, blue. I love this color, by the way. And light buttermilk. So I'm just putting that down next to the light buttermilk. Oh, boy. Let's see if this is going to work. And I just want it to give a little shine in the middle of the book. I could not mm. See, no red is coming off, so that's good. But when I go into this, so I'm going to go blue, pounce, light buttermilk, pounce. And I have a ton of paint on here. But I have a brush mix, and I'm going to take off the paint and gently, gently... a little wetter than I'd hoped because it's not looking well I think it's working that's the main oopsie yeah it definitely worked you can see that for sure one thing I should have realized though is I have I traced on the um, stars and so now I, can't, I won't be able to get the tracing off there. Like you'll be able to see the that. So I am, I'm going to paint them on. I'm going to paint the stars, which that stinks, but that's okay. But yeah, so that's dry brushing. Isn't that cool? This still needs more. I'm going to go back with that. Did I, I didn't put it in this. 
I'm just going to go in with a little light buttermilk alone. And then I take it off. And then I just gently It looks good. It looks good. I like that. Um, what about this little guy? We were supposed to do stitching, and it is paint the stitching with light buttermilk. So there is stitching, and I'm just looking at the picture around the vent and along the edge of his um, sleeves. So I'm just gonna get my little tiny liner and this light buttermilk and create a little slicker wetter puddle right here that we can make little stitch lines along his sleeve. Mine are kind of long. I could, you could make them as little short ones because they would be tinier than that but that's okay and then along here and there's a button but I'm gonna wait because I I want to make it with a stylus so it can be nice and rounded not that it matters oh boy So the stitching is done. Dot the buttons with black. Dot highlights on each button. Stencil the stars with avocado. Dot among the stars with country red. So we are almost done. I'm going to attempt to do that. Now, the only stencil brush I have is this Tracy Moreau one. And it's different. It has like the bristles. It's a double layered bristle. So, I think I might as well try it with that. I'm going to try it, and I'm going to try using this stencil. It's going to be awkward, but whatevs. I don't want to use that brush. It's way too big. I am going to use... I could just use a sponge. I think I want to try using this and, like, scrub it on. I really don't want to mess this up, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try this. So, avocado. I'm loading the brush with avocado. I'm using the um, slip, the stippler. And I'm kind of pouncing the paint off. I don't want it soaked. And I'm just going to, like, try to strategically place a few of these bigger, bigger ones on here. And my stencil is filthy. Literally, like, filthy. And I'm just going to gently... Nice. They're actually kind of big, big. I don't want them that big anymore. Let's go with a little smaller one. See how messy they're coming out? Damn. Okay, it's better than nothing. I don't like that one. It's just too wet right here. It's alright, I picked it up. Let's do a couple on his sleeve. Oops. And um, very. I'm actually really pleased with um, the way these are coming out with this brush, or just with a brush at all, because. I think whatever I did last, I think it was just on ornaments that I made, I used a uh, sponge and it, it, they did not look good. I want to use two, make two little ones, like tiny ones. So I'm trying to see through this stencil, which is not, um, sorry, right here. There we go. I think he's cute. I think I need one more though, let's say. Yeah, see I push it too much, but I want a tiny one. Like 
over here, a tiny one. And then a tiny one over here. Probably can't even see it because of the, okay, good enough. And a tiny one right here. All right, and I'm stopping because I get carried away. This came out messed up, but it's okay. And some of the shading came off. Maybe I can fix it because the rest of them look super good. And then this, these stars on the book, I guess I, I really wish I could have, I'm going to try and erase and see what happens, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I should have erased these before I put that highlight on. Yeah, they're not going to come off, but I think I'll be able to put, um, I'll be able to stencil these stars right on there. I can't really line it up. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to put three stars. Like right where. Yep, I'm going to do that. Um, let me fix this one first. I already put my brush in water. Dang it. Because it was loaded really well. Like it had, I don't want, you don't want too much water to mix with your paint. Or it, that's what makes it bleed under. You need a fairly dry brush. Okay, that seems dry enough. And then I'm going to re-stencil that one, and that is done with this little guy here. So I'm just placing it like kind of as best I can. And just going to try and put him in there and hope for the best. And it didn't work, but it's good enough. You know what, guess what? I will do it with my liner brush. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I think I am going to try and, um, so let's see what else we have to do. After we did that, we were supposed to, oh, we have to do little dots. It says, um, dot highlight, oh, no, 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 stencil the stars and then dot among the stars with country red. So I have country red out here and you know what? I might as well do it with a stylus and I'll just give it a second and then we'll finish the books because I'm, I won't be working up there. So I'm going to do the buttons with black. Is this black? I think it is black. Wait. Yeah, it looks black. Um, the buttons are right here and right here. Actually, that's black green, I think. I don't know if it's black. I think it's black green. I'm going to take it off. I'm having a hot flash, too right now kiwi i'm putting my fan on oh my god all right good so i didn't because i didn't get out black yet i knew i didn't so I, I don't know if you would really be able to notice that like when the whole thing was done that it wasn't black black but you know if the button police ever came to my house they might they might know So now I'm going to go black, 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 and then I'm going to go to my smaller stylus and just put little so you can see it's not on the pattern, the like dra line drawing, but on his little outfit. So I'm going to add not the tiniest, but the next size of red. And you need a fresh puddle of paint, which I kind of have. It had a little bit of a layer on it, a, a skin, but I will, I, I broke through it and now I have fresh paint. And I'm just going to kind of um, space them out so there's not too many because I do get a little bit carried away sometimes with when it comes to dots. Um, here I go, getting too carried away, and maybe one like right here, oh boy, and here, you think that's enough, oops, and here, oh my gosh, it just adds so much life, I think that's enough, 
as I put one more. <laughs> okay. So cute. All right. Now what? The book. Back to the books. I don't know now if I can do my stenciling. I'll do this one first then. Let's do the bottom book. The blue, the brown book, it says, with a Camel Mix highlight, we did that. Paint the stripes with Country Red. Nice. So I will get my rigger, and we'll get some red, and we'll paint those stripes. And we are done, girls and boys. We are in the home stretch. I'm going to put a lovely stripe right here. And right here, oops, kind of widened out a little too big. Right here. Oop, that wide. See if you push down, you can really get a nice wide. All right. I'll come back and make another one. And then on the outside of that is some green, it looks like. Why can't I find it? Jeez, ew. Let's see. Okay, I got it. Camel book with country red. Paint the lettering lamp black. Base the top. See, it doesn't show it, but she has a little green stripe next to it. See, there's a little green stripe. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that with a little bit of avocado. That's what I'm going to do with a much tinier brush. And these are just details. They are not the main event, guys. So don't get crazy. I don't know why I said that. You're not getting crazy. But as you add each little thing, it just makes it so much cuter. Now I can put my uh, word on with black. My head might get in the shot because I'm kind of going to be leaning in to see what I'm doing. I can see. The tracing a little bit. And it's very um, elementary, the writing. It's not calligraphy, if you know what I'm saying. So your own printing would have been just fine. But I do see the tracing lines, so I'm just kind of trying to follow those. S's are always, my name has an S, so S's are, but that looks cute. That looks like, like gingerbread would have written those letters. I'm just going to go back over the red a little bit more. What else? I think all I have to do is do the stars. Oh, there's stripes on the blue book, too. And they're red, too. <coughs> um, dry brush. <clears throat> blue top. Blah, blah, blah. Paint the stripes with camel and country red. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Sorry. My bad. Hi, Jen. She's coming to get a little scratch. I think I need more country red. Where did I put it? Mm -mm -mm. Here it is. My favorite red. Thanks to Renee, she uses this a lot in her Christmassy stuff. So, <clears throat> um, it's become my favorite as well. close enough. It's just a little 
Don't get caught up on that stuff, you guys. And then camel, she said, right? Camel. I should have some camel. I do. Well, that came out much thicker than I was hoping. Did not expect that to come out as thick. It's okay. I guess I pushed the brush down harder than I thought because if you do that, you're definitely going to get a thicker, thicker line. Ooh, itchy eye. <clears throat> the wind, the fan is blowing in my eyes. Up, oh, push down again. Gorgeous. I'll do this red a little wider too. Well, that is it except for the stenciled stars. Let's see what else. It says <clears throat> base the bottom book with camel shade. Hot dry brush, highlight, paint the stripes with camel. On the camel book with country red. Paint the lettering lamp back, black. Base the top book with French gray blue. Shade, deep midnight, mix of French gray and light buttermilk for highlighting. Paint the stripes with camel and country red. Stencil the stars with marigold. All right, so here I go stenciling these stars with marigold. I think I have, oh, I have marigold. I have marigold. I was just gonna use straw or something. And this is it, you guys, this is it. And then I will show you how I will do the, um, the clip thing. All right, so let's get my star stencil. And I think I'll use the big one and then the biggest one, let's see if it fits. Let me turn off my fan. I'm just drying the brush a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see, this one, so I wanna go right here. You know what, I'm gonna put a dot of marigold right in the center, like where I want my stars to go. And then I'll be able to center them and know where to put them. I'm a genius. All right, so I'm loading the brush, and I don't want it too wet. Oh, boy, this is going to be, because the brush is very wet, so let me try and, I'm just drying the bristles a little bit. Okay, reload, tap it off. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go with, oh, geez, look, I'm going to put the paint on. Good, Sarah. Hopefully my head wasn't completely good enough, good enough, do do and good enough, do do. Hey, all right, and that's all it says. Stencil the stars with marigold. Do 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 do. We're done. Look at it, because that's it. Stencil the stars with marigold. That's the end. And then we have to do the little clip, John. Okay, so this pattern is by Plum Purdy. Let's review. This is the end. OMG. I did this one, the little cookie one. Cookie time, Christmas time cookies. And then this is, I got this at AC Moore. But wait, let's just look at him first. I should put, I should sign it. Look how stinking cute it is. I don't think I forgot anything. I did go around the sides. Good enough. It is going to get glued to the front of here. We're gonna do some stenciling on this. This is getting painted green, see? And then it has some check stencils with dots. 
So that's what that's going to look like. Um, there is some highlighting on this spoon. I see highlighting. Dang it. Let's see if she... Did I miss something else? Deep in shading, paint stripes, paint a thin line, base the icing, highlight the icing, strengthen the highlights, base the holly, highlight with spicy must... No, that's the holly. Dot the berries and dot the... Yeah, she doesn't have us highlighting. Ah, uh, maybe she didn't. All right, I got to calm down. It's done. So you know what? I'm going to be done, and I'm going to come back because I'm tired, and I'm going to do a different tutorial of this. We'll do this in another tutorial, all right? Um, or I won't because it's just, you don't need a tutorial. Um, you kind of, you don't really. I could though, we will see. All right, but anyway, I'm going to come in. It's done. Let me put my name. So I'm just going to use the black and a very thin brush, little brush, and I'm going to write my name. Where should I write it? It's kind of distracting because of the cookies for me to put my name. I think I'm going to put it on the back, and I didn't even paint the back. But like if I'm gluing it like that, the side, oops, this will show. So I think I'm going to put my name right here. And here's all I do to put my name. I'm going to put the date too because I've been noticing all my um, ornaments that are on the tree. I ha When I used to sell stuff, I wouldn't put the date because then I could put the, when I went to sell it, I could put the date. Anyway, but I like to put the date when I painted it because that is more relevant. Like it makes me, I understand, oh, I painted that that year. Anyway. So I just go S, oh God, Sarah. And this isn't sealed. I think actually, is it? Did I seal both sides? I forget, all right. S, A, R. I do it very, like just chippy choppy. A, and that's it. But I'll put the date, 2019. Can you believe it's gonna be 2020? Wow, that's it. And it's mine anyway, but isn't it amazingly cute, you guys? Oh, I'm so happy with it. It's so cute. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.